Well, some outrage over missing money. An investigation is being launched into more than $117,000 missing from Lakeland's Parks and Rec Department. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino explains the money was meant for children. Good evening. This complex right here, Simpson Park, is where the money is missing from, but city officials say the impact is much greater. It's a scar on Simpson Park. It's a scar on the community. Yvonne McShay has gone to the center for 25 years. She's even donated to the various programs. She's upset knowing her money may have went in someone else's pocket. And it's very painful. You know, probably to everyone that lives around here. We're missing $117,000. Kevin Cook, the director of communications for the city of Lakeland, says the numbers weren't adding up. So the city launched an internal audit. They discovered five years of missing money. Why did it take five years? That is a great question. So obviously, we had. A, a total breakdown in cash handling procedures. Three Parks and Rec employees have either been asked to quit or retire. Rashawn Gant, a recreation leader, Marquise Roberts, a supervisor, and Robert Glass, superintendent of Parks and Recreation. A fourth employee, Mindy Fitch, who is the fiscal operations manager, has hired an attorney to fight her termination. She was never supposed to be doing this. Her title does not reflect her job, which was to work with people when there were problems that were brought to her attention. Many are left with the same question. Where did the money go? At this point, we don't know. Lakeland police tell me it could take months before this investigation is complete and before they decide if anyone will be charged. In Lakeland, Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.